Hey guys, it's Mrs. Phillips checking in with you from home. Um, I just wanted to say that, first of all, I miss all of you, and I'm looking forward to being back in the classroom with you. But for now, um, I just want to talk about how things have been going um, from home. I'm sure you've noticed by now that I'm uploading assignments daily for you to complete, and most of you are doing that. So thank you and keep up the good work. Um, it's really going to be important for those of you who don't have your work in to please catch up and get everything in so that the grades in on course are up to date and accurate. If you notice any discrepancies, if you have a zero for something that you've done, please just shoot me an email, reach out to me, and I would be happy to take a look. Um, I know that some of you are continuing to have some trouble with technology. And I wanted to remind you that our technology department does have hours during um, this time that the school is closed where you can reach out to them and they can help you. So please don't let technology be the reason that you're not getting your work done. We just need to figure out a solution so that we can kind of work through that. Um, another thing, um, administration emailed um, all of the teachers and reminded us that we need to be logging into our 365 so they also encouraged us to remind the students as well. So please make sure that you are logging into your Microsoft accounts um, on a daily basis in addition to your OneNote. So um, I also wanted to take a minute to talk about this week's assignments. Um, those of you who have at, had Art 1 in my class um, have probably seen in the past those large um, portraits done on brown paper with charcoal and chalk. Um, that was one of the projects that I intended to do with you this semester, but we're not in the classroom to use the large brown paper and to use the charcoal and the chalk. So I'm trying to improvise a little bit um, by working on the skill sets that you need to create a portrait, but from home. So you noticed that you had to do um, eyes and you had to do a nose and you had to do a mouth. For today, I'm going to have you learn how to do a human head and hair. And these videos, I think, are really helpful and they contain a lot of really useful information. So I hope that you um, are finding that to be true as well. And for today, after, wa after you watch the video on head and hair, I want you to start the next project, which is going to be a self-portrait. Self-portraits are um, something that have always been really important um, throughout the history of art. It started um, way back in the day uh, before cameras um, when artists had to pay uh, models to sit for them so that they could practice painting. A lot of artists didn't have the money to um, be able to pay a model, so they would use mirrors and they would practice by doing self-portraits. And over time, they became a very respectable art form. Lots and lots of famous artists um, have all completed self-portraits can think of Van Gogh and Picasso and Rembrandt and um, Chuck Close and Frida Kylo. I mean, the list goes on and on. Um, so it's your turn. I would like for you to use the skills that we've learned this week, all of your facial features, hair, nose, mouth, head, eyes, and I want you to put that all together and make a portrait of yourself. Hopefully doing this from home won't be as intimidating as doing it at the tables in room 116 because you'll have some privacy at home. I know sometimes we can feel a little self-conscious uh, working on a self-portrait. So please don't worry, I'm the only one who will see it. Um, and I won't post it anywhere um, specifically without your permission. So I'd like for you to start that today and that's going to be a two-day project. So you have today, Thursday, and tomorrow, Friday to work on your self-portrait and then submit it to me. As usual, I would like you to include as much detail and shading as possible. If you have any questions or comments or you just want to say hello, please feel free to send me an email. I love to hear from you. Thank you guys. Have a great day and I'm hoping to see you soon.